Hello again, Paul Phillips here for Patek Design. In our first video blog, we talked briefly about screen numbering your e-learning storyboards and why it's so important. Well, all that talk about sequencing your storyboard and we forgot to discuss storyboard basics. So here's the scoop. You could likely use any of the more popular desktop publishing programs you like, but a couple of things to think about are, is the program you'll use familiar to everyone contributing to the build process? And does this software accommodate text, graphics, an outline, and have a provision for an audio script? If not, here's my advice. PowerPoint is as good a choice as any for storyboarding because it allows you to sequence your slides to match your flash screens with its outline view. At the same time, you can see your actual slide and related master template graphics, and additionally, the notes view provides the perfect place for audio scripts and vendor notes. So there you have it. You need to use a basic numbering sequence for your storyboard screens, and then assemble your storyboard in a program like PowerPoint that accommodates all the requirements you'll have to meet with e-learning. Thanks again for watching, and join us next time as we take a look at Content Basics.